previously on Car Trek. They've brought us to medieval times. Three, two, one. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. <laughs> wow. Oh. No, right off the bat. I took a fully functional car and made it uh, non functional. <laughs> No, don't talk for it. Seriously, it did a really bad job with this car. <laughs> yeah, I did a great job. After an exhausting day getting acquainted with our unreliable luxury cars, we were eager to check out Auto Tempest's lovely accommodations. And the place looked like it was probably owned by the kind of person who thought Cecil the Lion had it coming. Wow, someone was a real animal lover. Yeah. Uh... Is there something wrong, Mr. Hoover? Not at all. This is a lovely room of death. And let's move on. Yeah. Oh, hey. It's a real domicile of ecstasy. Dibs. Oh. Ugh. Whew. Well, enjoy the pleasure, Palace Freddy. Oh. Yeah, I want to see what you guys are seeing. Oh. The Grand Hall. And a beautiful Christmas tree. But no presents. Yeah, that's weird. I wonder where they are. This isn't the worst place to spend Christmas, but it's definitely the weirdest. Do you guys think the eyes in the paintings are moving? Yeah, they're following you. Is that a mounted sea turtle head? How does that happen? I guess the back part's on the other side of the wall. Yeah, I, I hope so. Presents. Yes, here are the presents they mentioned. Oh, and this one oh, okay. is for us. Look All right. That. You know, it's a tradition in my family to open up a gift before Christmas, but... Well wrapped. Tyler, are you okay? You all right, man? Did he not get presents as a kid? Yeah. Oh. Wow. Look at that. That's perfect for a Maserati owner. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yes. So, uh, ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, that is so thoughtful of them. Well, it is late, so let's try to get some sleep, challenging as that may be, because I guess tomorrow we have to see how many of these will fit in our cars. I mean, all of these will fit in my rolls, no problem. I, I doubt that, and they will then smell terrible. I'm gonna take some more stuff, just oh. so I can show you how much fits in my rolls. I'm Sweet dreams, room. everybody. I like the sweater. The next morning, we took our gifts to the castle entrance, ready to load up our depreciated sleighs along with a few other unusual stocking stuffers we found around the house. After Tyler showed us why he was crowned Kansas Jenga champion three years in a row, it was Freddy's turn to show us how efficiently he could pack his car with presents. This is no problem. So, one minute, ready, set, go. Okay. Why'd you put your cock up top? Careful, careful. Okay. Oh, that's a smell. That's a smell. Does the trunk have to close? 
Oh, my foot. Oh, whoa. Oh, it's okay. Oh, yeah. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. We got it. We got it. It has all the unnecessary opulence of a Gucci tracksuit. <laughs> yes. And it's kind of shaped like one of those storage bins that they drop in your driveway when you're moving. You shouldn't have any excuses here. Lots of presents for all the girls and boys. That car looks like what Jersey Shore cast members live out of between seasons. Yes, yeah, the single wide. Certainly, it's about as wide as a single wide. There we go. Oh, you ruined the wrapping. All right. Freddie, you got one more. And utter failure. Yeah. That's good. So this doesn't count because the trunk doesn't that, close. That, that, that counts. Doesn't, this, this doesn't, this doesn't, doesn't count, count at all. It's no. fine. Yeah, I can it tie it down. No, so how many gifts is that? That counts. All yes, right. The rough ones. Okay. The roof? Yes, it does. This no, counts. No, it doesn't. One, one big one. I'll, I'll give you credit for this. You got three presents in the whole Rolls Royce. I want to recount. I can do it right now. One, two, three. All right. Now that I'm done, Tyler. One, two, three, go. Oh. Well, I didn't say anything about the stuff coming out of the car. All right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. We need to stand further back. Tyler, the closer you stand to that car, the faker your watch looks. Oh, wow. Tyler. It's making Jason Statham proud. That's it, that's it. Don't never open the package. Never open the package. Oh, look at that. That's a bonus point present. Nope, negative. That's actually a surprising amount of room in that car. Yeah. Consumer Reports, best choice of unreliable luxury sedans. What am I? 14 seconds. 14. I know that because of the sun. When Audi pitched this as like the intelligent choice of your high performance luxury sedan when new, now it has the intelligence of, say, an anti vaxxer movement. This is the Flatter Society Facebook page as a car. <laughs> oh, he's doing great. He's got almost all of these. Five, four, three. Two, one. Wow. <laughs> All right, well, we got the one in the trunk, yes. That's there. Yeah. We got, oh my, Santa. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Your driver's seat is covered with gifts. Slight repositioning. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. You look comfortable in there. If I take a turn too hard, I might uh, get an antler in the face, but otherwise. Fine. Yeah. Ed, I think it's your turn. Three, two, one, go. Oh, okay. This is the fastest I've seen him move since his wife said she's having contractions. Wasn't he with us when his wife was having contractions? And yeah, he, he, didn't do, he didn't do anything. No, he didn't do anything. This is like every porn star's first supercar. <laughs> right after they get butt implants, yes? <laughs> yeah. Jimmy, I don't know. <laughs> this is the kind of car that the owner would have to pay extra to have it valet parked up front. And they would still say no. 25 seconds. I think the brand identity of Maserati was defined by Paris Hilton. Yes? And now that torch is passed to Ed Bully. I think Ed's forgetting the trunk because all of his cars have auxiliary tanks for cannonball runs. Yeah, those huge, like 100, 100 <laughs> yeah. gallons. I think in this case, it's probably filled with extra fluids because he's going to need it. It's <laughs> probably. Leaking, <laughs> it's leaking a lot. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There we go. There's a dead hooker in there. Ah, uh, Maserati owners, yes. It's a buy -in. Yes. I don't right. think that's going to fit. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. The Eleven. The Italian upholstery. Ooh. That can't count. Yes. That does not I count. I could drive with that. No. Yeah, definitely step on your windshield. Yeah. Quite an accommodating present you've given me. This looks like a horror show right now. It'll work. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It was 11. I counted. That's not 11. I just punctured my upholstery for nothing? Yes, that's not 11. Yeah, Tyler won. Tyler wins. Tyler, I win. This S8 isn't going anywhere. Electrical problems, suspension problems, that plague this it car. It stands a way better chance hold on, hold than on, your Rolls Royce, for sure. Uh, it's like the Titanic. I'm vibrating. Without the sinking. A text from Auto Tempest. You have quite the journey ahead of you. Auto Tempest allows you to search all the major listing sites at the same time to find the best car possible. 
For the third time, you three have managed to find some of the worst. Yeah. I think I found at the worst. Well, it's on purpose this time. Well, that's true. We're all curious to see just what is wrong with your cars, so head to this address for some inspections. I should put my seat back in. You taking some extra passengers? Well, well add lightness. Yeah. Yes. All right, off we go. Proving that I could fit more junk in the trunk made me very happy, but I can't say any of us were very hopeful that our cars would do well in the next challenge. Hello. Oh, I know this place. <laughs> Look at this. It's much more normal cars than last time, and it's well lit and clean. That's a Wego. It's a Wego, yes. yes. And I suppose now we're going to get our cars inspected. It's a really strange transporter room. <laughs> Wizard! The beard of knowledge is I'm back, back, guys. Yes. Wow. Oh. That's enough. Yeah. That's enough. So I suppose you're going to now see even worse cars than we offered you last time. Worse cars? Yes, absolutely. Oh, I don't know if it can get much worse, but we'll see. And you're going to tell us what's wrong with them? Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm going to tell you what's going to cost to fix them. Auto Tempest has instructed me not to give you guys the issues with the cars, what? but just the cost to fix them. We drove them over here and we bombed them down a rally stage yesterday, but we, we don't really know much about them. They were bought sight unseen, so that, that, that seems... That seems not like a good idea at all. No. No. Well, that's just the way it is. I have to follow instructions. Why don't we take yours for a spin and see what kind of gremlins we can shake up in that one? All right. Toodaloo. Good luck. All right. Are we, are we doing test drives now? Well, if we're test driving things, what if we were to take this around the block? Chris Farley's jacket. <laughs> Fat guy in a little <laughs> coat. <laughs> Tall guy in a little car. <laughs> ah! Oh. Ah! <laughs> what is this car a little, a little wayward in its handling? Oh, 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 the speed. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. White knuckle <laughs> at 55 miles an hour, dude. I am. There is no way this is 55 miles an hour. No, this no, we are. This is 35. But... Yes. This thing has all the stability of a Charlie Sheen therapy session. <laughs> I got tiger blood! <laughs> there were 900 of these built, only 300 of them remain. And it's not as old as it's supposed to be, so that is quite a thing. It's very apparent why 600 of these went off the road. We have not fallen over yet. Though. We haven't though. Uh, there's, a, there's a hill coming up, oh. downshift. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like that every time I have to downshift, I caress your leg. Yes. I love it, too. OK. Oh. All YouTubers grow up and buy Lamborghinis. This is what they need. This, this is the next step, is yes. driving excitement. Mm -hmm. I wonder what Wizard's thinking of that S8. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, you smell that? Yeah, I smell the Audi V10 oil burning. It's typical of all those V10s, they do that. Yeah. So what are some of your concerns? I noticed it had a donut on it. Oh, yes, I had a small accident within the, the first minute of driving it, so, it, yeah. Uh, the infotainment system, totally on the fritz, like right now it's on the backup camera. Yeah, and it, it, won't... it won't shut off its backup <laughs> yeah. camera all the time. I, it, it doesn't really work all that well. Looks like the suspension light is on. Yeah, I, I wonder if it's had a lowering module because it's very low, as I discovered on the rally. Uh, it scrapes really bad, and you can tell it's not it's not running the smoothest. Yeah, it's got a little misfire at idle. When you get on it, it sounds good. Sounds really good. Yes, it has an exhaust. But I see that there's a check engine light, there's a vehicle suspension light, and TPMS yep. light on. Yes, it, it's, it's quite broken. But I can't be too mean because it's a gift. Ed gave it to me. Oh, Ed gave it to you. And it's way nicer than the gift that I gave Freddy. Way, oh. way, way, way nicer. Way nicer, huh? Yes, I kind of feel bad now. It seems to drive all right, otherwise it brakes good. We are going to die. Yesterday was safer than this. We are a go. Let's see how fast this thing is. Oh, wow. That's some acceleration, boy. <laughs> no, they're not. Really? What? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, this is 
This is fantastic. Tyler, with that donut on, we're both in three-wheeled cars. Yes, yes, briefly this was a three-wheeled car. We have a rather intense fuel smell happening in here. Yep. Windows down are- have a pretty strong oil smell. <laughs> This S8 may not have all the power it's supposed to, but it still has a hundred times the power. Number line, Robin. What? How much horsepower does this thing have? Like eight? It's got an 850 cc. The guy said it's like at 0.8 liter. The only car with a negative power to weight ratio with you two in it. <laughs> <laughs> That Reliant is still better than my Rolls Royce Christmas gift, for sure. Amen to that. I'm about to re gift my Rolls Royce. Rolls Royce re gifting would be the worst possible New Year's tradition. You guys are messing up our test drive. Wizard can't really open this thing up. Uh, okay. All right. Don't fall over. Don't fall over. Oh, ah! oh, 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 jeez. Oh, <laughs> That was a wheel off the ground there. That's dangerous. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> They're gonna die. They're gonna try to flip it over. It's not even their car. After all that rallying in cars that are not built to rally, they're gonna die in a Reliant Robin. Crazy. I like this. Oh yeah. I, I really like yeah. I really enjoy this. I don't ever want to get in it again. No, no, I never yeah, want to drive this right, again, ever. I, definitely. But I like this. Right. Well, I guess we can get this thing on the lift and see what kind of damage you're talking about. Well, you'll know. I won't. It's so oh. weird. Yeah, well, the way it is. What is this up here? Let's try it. Oh. I guess that's how we open the hood on this one. Mmm, I can smell that infamous Audi burning oil smell. Let's take a look around and see what we see. I can definitely see oil leaking around the valve cover gaskets. Let's pull the coil out here and see. I bet there's oil all over it. Oh yeah, it's dripping with oil. Hmm, tastes like a candy cane. That's definitely why it's misfiring and running so bad. There we go. You can definitely tell this thing has had a few sweet jumps, like really hard jumps. This bumper is all cracked and beat up. You can see oil leaking all over the bottom of this engine. It's all coming from the valve cover gaskets up top. Wow, I see a giant hole in the body. I don't know if that happened on their rally stage or what happened there. That is very, very dangerous. The structure of this car is compromised. Oh wow, there's a CV boot that's completely torn here and it's slinging grease everywhere. Ugh, nasty. Wow, there's a hole in this body panel on the bottom. Put my hand through it. It really, really hit a rock or something. Here's a rock. This is where they were at. There's another one. There's rocks everywhere. This thing is going to take a lot of work to get it right. If this one is this bad, I can't wait to see how the other ones look. So some of the things I'm seeing, Freddy, right off the bat is the dash panel is missing and the door panel is missing. What's going on with that? I mean, uh, those can easily be replaced. I'm sure that on eBay they're like 15 bucks a piece, right? 15, well, everything on a Rolls Royce is gonna be really expensive. That's not true, it's old. Well, there's one thing that may not be too expensive. That would be the wiper blade that's missing there. Now that you mentioned that, it did kind of cut a groove into the windshield. I have no speedometer, Freddy. So what? When do you need to know how fast you're going in a Rolls Royce? Where did it go? I, I just didn't come with one, I guess. Stop lamp light is out. Well, it, it comes on and off, so I, I assume it fixes itself. It smells really bad in here. What do you think that could be? I don't know. It smells almost like a mold or Good. maybe even someone died in here. I don't know. So have you had any issues with the brakes at all? Or I see the mineral lights on. I'll tell you what, the brakes on this car 
uh, are better than the Reliant Robins. Yes, I would imagine that it is. There's a lot of things on this car that is better than Reliant Robin, even in its current state. The fact that it has four wheels. Four wheels. Yeah. That's a big plus. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about this awesome engine and transmission, the 6.75 liter? It, as far as the engine and transmission is concerned, it runs perfect. It runs great. I do like Rolls Royces though. There's nothing quite like this ride. I mean, even, even in this state, it is pretty good. Yeah, it rides pretty nice. Mm -hmm. I feel a clunking in the back though. Hear that? Clunk, clunk. Something in the rear right back there is clunking around. Uh, not, not really. I mean, maybe. Uh, there it goes. Have you, have you had your hearing checked? Uh, I have very good hearing. Are you sure? Yes. Because I'm not hearing anything. Uh, maybe you need to have your hearing checked. Mm, I don't think so. <laughs> My hearing's pretty good. Going with well, it is the rolls, <laughs> the majesty of your buying prowess. She's an old girl, she's worn in like a house. Sometimes the foundation has to settle, but I think you'll find that when you inspect this car, it will be perfect. 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 Well, Not one thing will be wrong with this car. Well, here in a little bit, we're gonna put it on the lift and we're gonna find out just how perfect it is. So here's, here's what I think you should do. Um, since this car is the oldest one out of all of us, you should quote me in 1986 dollars. Because back then a car was like 1500 bucks or whatever it cost. Now, it would be expensive. So mm, I think- I don't think we're gonna quote it in 1986 bucks. It's going to be t today's money. Just go, go easy on go me, Go easy. Yeah. Okay, I'll try. Man, this thing smells horrible in here. Like something died in it. Well, let's get it checked out. I don't see anything leaking or anything bad. I see a lot of leaves everywhere, like it's been sitting a long time. The belts look good. Oh, the bumper looks pretty bad. Oh, it looks like it's been hit. Oh my goodness. Oh boy. That's not good. Well, let's get it in the air and see what we see. Well, I do see one small leak right here. It's a little bit of a seepage. Power steering leak is what that is. A little bit of seepage on the transmission. Amazingly, I, I'm surprised this thing has held up as well as it has. Oh my, that's got holes all, rusted almost all the way through the, the coil spring seat. I can put my finger through it. This drive shaft flex joint is all cracked and beat up. Oh my. Well, that explains why we had the mineral light on, the warning light for being low. It's just leaking all out of the rear shock here. That's very, very dangerous. He loses all of his fluid and he's going to have no brakes. No brakes at all. This is an accident waiting to happen. Someone's going to get hurt. So you did it again, Ed. You ended up with the nicest car of the bunch. I, you know. How do you do it? Well, I can't take full credit. Freddie bought a good Maserati for a change and didn't destroy the look with stupid stickers this time. <laughs> stupid stickers is right. You know, these are, were so cool when we first saw them, but then you got to drive them and you learned that they were not the S-Class, they were cracked up to be. It's almost like a seven series that was raised by the Church of Scientology. <laughs> yeah. That seems to be driving okay otherwise. It is. I mean, honestly, you know, for 76,000 miles, it's in pretty great shape. Well, I learned you guys took this on a rally stage, all three we of these did, cars. did, and I will tell you, it slides beautifully. Ah, yes! Whee! Last time I was dealing with a Vanquish that was always down on power, and so it's nice to have something that can actually overcome traction when necessary. In your rally stage, did it also break anything beautifully? Yes, yes. Oh, it My did. My auto leveling of the headlamps is what's currently beeping at us. Oh, I saw that uh, when we first got in it, yes. Yeah. So mostly it's the electrical foibles. Yeah. 
Have you had any starting issues or charging issues or anything with this car? Yes, it is always very, very slow to start. Okay, definitely need to check into that then. The seat heater on that side will spontaneously turn on. Oh, just randomly just turns randomly. on? Just huh? randomly, yep, absolutely. Wow. And I'll tell you, I sold some Maseratis used that would, I mean, just had the weirdest electrical quirks. I mean, worse than the Flood Gallardo. And right. that car, I mean, it'll adjust the radio if you touch the top. The only thing that's super annoying about these is that you get a lot of super slow response to the paddles. I actually have a 360 in the shop right now. It has the very same setup, the F1 transmission. I found if I had let off in between shifts on the accelerator, it engaged better. Yes, I always feel like they work great at a full out, as fast as you can drive circumstance, and then they fall short in something like this, just a cruising around town sort of thing. And so, yeah, definitely if you're trying to upshift, relieving the throttle a bit can help. Now, this one shifts so slowly, it's almost as though you've requested a new gear and then it decides whether or not you may have it. Right. Coming right up. And you may have noticed that my engagement for reverse is not fully attached. And then it has the, the Ferrari, Maserati sticky button. Absolutely got the sticky buttons. A little bit of a dash rattle when you go really fast off-road. Like airborne jumping really fast? Yeah, yeah. That could okay, be part. yeah, that would make dash rattles. The way that airbag is bowing, I was also really worried as we were jumping the cart yesterday that yeah. it might have uh, shot out in my face, <laughs> uh, but it didn't. I see that it's the Neiman Marcus edition. It is, Mona. Mona, huh? Uh, and I, I have to say, that, that makes it much more special to me. It's a numbered, rare Italian car. I was never as wild about this design from Pininfarina as I was about some of the other ones. I mean, you might say that the design success of this car is the reason that a couple of years later they were in the Coke machine business. <laughs> yeah. You can see that at many McDonald's or other... That's it. Fine. Fine food. dining Fine. establishments. <laughs> <laughs> One thing that I've noticed is that just from being driven all three of these, it definitely is, to me, sounds the best. Oh yes, yeah, you've got the Ferrari V8 with a little bit more horsepower than the Spider and the Coupe had before it. Mm -hmm. uh, 333 pound-feet of torque, 394, 95 horsepower. 0 to 60 was only like 5.2 seconds, but that's almost as fast as like an E39 M5, so, yeah, can't be upset with that. No. You know, I gave Maserati owners a very, very hard time in roasting Freddy throughout the last series, but mm -hmm. I always had that morbid curiosity of what it would be like to own one, and now I get to live out that fantasy. It would be a fun car to have, I think so. So what do you think, Wizard? Do you think I have the best car? I think that you do. Ah, yes. There's a lot less things that seem to be wrong with it. Freddy's is actually missing complete interior parts out of it. Just it gone. always happens to him. I don't know, it's weird. And I suppose I should take more credit for the weaknesses of Tyler's car, but I know he would never feel good about driving a functional car. Yes. <laughs>Flat screwdriver. How in the world did that stay there through all of this car has been through? I don't know. And here's the F1 transaxle in the back. Amazingly, it's not damaged. There's some scraping here you can see on this cross member, but even the exhaust mounts are still in good shape. Well, we got the three cars done. It's time to deliver the bad news. Well, it's good news for me, bad news for them. Nothing spreads Christmas cheer quite like waiting for bad news, but we were optimistic that Wizards repair costs wouldn't be expensive lumps of coal in our otherwise flawless stockings. 
Well, I have good news and bad news and some really weird news. Yeah, it's Normally, I, I like to tell you guys what's wrong with your cars, but I cannot, and I feel so strange about that. I can't say what's wrong with There's your cars. There's no secrets between us, ever. I, I'm sorry, I can't. But I do have something I need to reveal before we get to the prices. Okay. There has been a federal crime committed on one of these vehicles. Was there actually a dead body under the trunk lining of his? Fortunately, it didn't involve a dead body. It smells like it, yes. It kind of smells like it, but yes. it wasn't a dead body. There is an odometer discrepancy on the Maserati. Oh! By almost 50,000 miles difference. Wait, so it has over 120,000 miles? Yes, it has 122, and it shows 76. Oh. You know what else had a 120,000 mile oh. Maserati engine hmm? that you made fun of? Uh, it was right where you want a Maserati to be. So did you call the police? Did you call the, the no, feds I didn't on call Ed? The, I don't think that Ed did that, but I definitely okay. had to disclose that. So now we'll get to the prices and we'll start with the least and it's not you and it's not you. Uh, oh, God. obviously, yes. So we got everything figured out on your Maserati and we came up with the price of $2,800 to solve what? your issues. To perfection. Everything will be working again. That's the lowest estimate ever, I think, in car track, right? I've never bought a car or owned a car that close to a fully operational. It was pretty amazing. You got a nice one there. You're terrible at buying bad cars, but when you try to buy a good car, it's terrible. Yeah, but you might go to jail. So, uh, <laughs> who's next? So next down the line is not you. It's oh. Tyler. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I think you had a lot of issues to begin with with that vehicle, but the Rally Cross added more issues to it. The underside is really scraped up. There's rocks stuffed up everywhere. He's telling a secret. No, stop, stop, oh, stop, so, stop, stop, stop. Okay. Auto okay. Tempest will Here like... I am again. I'll just say a price. Sorry. Your price is $11,500. <laughs> More than the whole budget of this contest. Yes, that, that's way more than the car is worth before it was wrecked. It would definitely take every bit of that. I'm trying to tally up like I've mentally what that would be. Is that with like the torn dashboard and the cosmetics and everything say. else? I can't say, I can't say. I can tell you the price, but I can't say the issue. Sworn to see. He needs a paint job too. He never, he never does paint jobs, so that's, it, you it, know, No, it's yeah. not gonna be paint. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna it's be. Probably, <laughs> everything will just buff out and it's perfect. And now we get to Freddy, the last in line. Okay, all right. To get everything where it should be on a Rolls Royce, you're looking at $23,750. Okay. <laughs> I kind of like okay. that's it. All right, that's all right. Okay. That's okay. It. All right. Listen, <laughs> listen, listen. You understand that we had to spend less than 10 grand on these cars, correct? Now, I also understand that's what it'll take to get the thing where it should be. Okay, so um, is this car drivable at this point? Like, is it. Until it runs out of mineral oil. Hey, oh, it, it, no, yeah. no, we can't tell you. You may or may not die. We will never know until it happens. Right. Tyler. Certainly. Tyler. Yes. yes. Since you gifted me this car. <laughs> can and you, thereby can you won. Can you fix this car for me and pay Wizard uh, the money that he... <laughs> yes, pay up. That was not part of the deal. <laughs> it, I feel like it should be part of the deal because I feel like I got a bad gift. I really bought the most unreliable car That's what I told on the you planet. That was the job. The job is, is done. Yes. So on this episode of Whovi Wins Again, yes. the smuggest channel in all of YouTube. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna die, you're gonna go to prison. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm vibrating. It's not fair. Oh, another text from Auto Tempest. It's time to head back to the castle. Get some rest because tomorrow will be a big day. We have a challenge to test your Christmas spirit. You'll be racing against the fastest man on earth. It's, it's not the wizard. No, it's not me. Yeah, it's, it's not me. No. And it's not you anymore by about a year now. You lost the record. It's gone. Yeah. True, true. Bye-bye. Well, I'll head on over to my transporter camper and you guys can get to it. Back to the castle. Nice. Bye, wizard. Godspeed, wizard. I'm, I'm really not feeling good. I'm sorry, not sorry. Tyler may have won this challenge, but Mona had won my heart. Brimming with holiday joy, I had an idea. Uh, what happened? I watched the footage and you got the Rolls Royce so high yesterday uh -huh. that I thought that I could do better, so I beat you guys here after the wizard's assessment of my awesome car and decided to send it a little bit harder. I put my clothes on from yesterday and got my helmet and got some of the camera guys out there 
and I thought we could just splice in a better jump for me. But I sent it pretty hard and it went nose down. I know why they put the cement in the trunks of the Dukes of Hazard cars. And so we dug in a little bit, which did not do this, um, and bounced a lot. Right. And then around that next bend, you'll recall, uh, I made a little bit of tree contact. Okay. A slight bit. So what I understand yes. is that I gave you a awesome Maserati that was nearly perfect. You were enjoying it. One of 60, mind you, 59 now. Well, way less than that. Yeah. Probably left now. Yeah. Yes. And you put it into a tree. The entire thing is bent, dude. It's yeah. like, it, there's no extra lights on. <laughs> you took basically the only car that wasn't totaled. Uh, Wizard said totaled, totaled, not totaled. And you totaled it. it. It was absolutely relieving itself of all of its coolant. So uh, I think I can patch that. You, you just drop an egg in or whatever. Can, can you? Yes. Okay, so. You're gonna have to wrench. Wrench every day. <laughs> Save I, the day. I am not wrenching on anything. I'm going to sleep. You have to You can help me. I'm not helping you. You can help me. No. This is, this is bad. It's like the warranty of a present. No. That, presents don't come with warranties. <laughs> You're not supposed to break your presents. What are you, five? Obviously. All right, but I am sure of one thing. I bet it looked awesome. There was some air. Oh! Next time on Car Trek. Tyler! What? What'd you get? It's a message. A message in the bottle. Oh, Whoa. hey! It's Hoopty Santa! Oh, ho, ho, ho! Hoopty Santa can show us how it's done, right? Woo! Whoa! So, <laughs> the bridge! Sorry, Frost! Ouch! Break, 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 break! Oh! 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 oh. <laughs> All right! Auto Tempest is the smart way to search all the major listing sites at once and find a great deal on a great car. We did not do that. We got miserable deals on terrible cars. But next time, you're going to find out just how worthless those cars are. So you can click the link in the video description below to go to autotempest.com to find your next ride. Auto Tempest, all the cars, one search.